Welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at Blogwatch, which helps over a billion sites with 100% reliable backups. The easiest and most reliable way to backup a WordPress site is to use a plugin. Now I'll show you how to take a backup of your site in just a few minutes using Blogwatch. Number one, create an account on Blogwatch and click on Add New Site. Number two, enter your website URL. Number three, choose Automatic Installation and enter your WP Admin credentials. And that's it. The site starts to sync, which means a WordPress backup is in progress. The sync process will happen in the background and you can continue working on your website as you normally would. If for any reason you're facing any issue installing Blogworld, just shoot an email to this ID and our 24-7 support will help you out. Option number two, backup with a web host. Most web hosts offer backups as a part of their services, sometimes as an add-on or sometimes bundled with their hosting plans. To backup your WordPress site with your web host, first you need to figure out if backups are included in your plan or not. Either read the terms of your agreement or reach out to their support. Once you have established this, you can set up web host backups in a few steps. We have used WP Engine for this tutorial. Number one, log into your hosting dashboard and navigate to the site you want to backup. Number two, look for a backup option. This can either be in a menu or in the navigation panel. Number three, follow on-screen instructions to complete the WordPress backup. We have complete guides for backups and restores for the major web hosts like GoDaddy, SiteGround, WP Engine, and Bluehost, which I'll add in the description below. However, please be warned, web host backups are a good option for first-time users, but should not be the only backups on your website. Backups are stored on the same server as your site. Server issues can take down your site and its backup, leaving you nowhere. Offsite backups are not immediately available as well. Even if your website is backed up on an external server, you need to contact customer support to access it. Malware makes web hosts trigger happy. If malware is detected on your website, web hosts can act very quickly to take the website offline and in some cases, delete it outright. Bluehost is particularly trigger happy in this aspect. This is why we always recommend using a dedicated backup plugin like Blogworld instead of relying on web host backups. Option number three, backup manually. Manual backups are the least time effective and most tedious to take. If anyone has to rely on a manual backup process, chances are they will start cutting corners and skipping backups, regardless of how dedicated they are. Manual backups are time consuming and that time is honestly better spent doing something more productive. Having said that, it may sometimes be useful to know exactly how to take a manual backup, a bit like knowing how to drive a stick when all the other cars are automatic. The first thing to understand about manual backups is that you're going to have to take two partial backups for a complete WordPress backup. This means you need to backup the files and the database separately and save the two backups together each time. We've put together a complete guide on how to take manual backups which outlines each step in detail. I'll attach this in the description below. However, in most cases, we strongly advise against manual backups for three main reasons. Number one, unreliable restores. The whole point of a WordPress backup is that you can restore your website if it crashes or breaks. But cPanel is not built to handle large sites. So after a certain size, the backup will almost always fail. This is especially the case with large databases. Restores mean downtime. To restore a website, you have to delete the files and database and then copy the restore files and database in their place. This is an understandably nerve-wracking process because your website will be down the whole time the restore is taking place. There is no way to also test a WordPress backup before restore. As a continuation of the previous point, there is there's absolutely no way to know if the backup that you have gotten is complete and downloaded correctly during the backup process. So when you go into restore, you could discover that the folders are empty or corrupted and that your backup and website have gone up in a puff of smoke. Now I know that these scenarios may sound nightmarish, because they are, but these are actual experiences of customers before they started using Blogworld. Finally, one super important thing that you should know is how to quickly detect and clean malware from your site. Check out the video linked above to successfully deal with any type of malware.